Hello and welcome to another video from S15 Studio. I would appreciate it if you can like and subscribe and leave any video recommendations down in the comment section. And be sure to check out my website s15studio.com where I have courses on Revit and AutoCAD. I'm currently running a 50% off sale on my Revit course beginner to advanced level so be sure to check that out before it expires. In this video, I'm going to show you how to set up your sheets for print, go through the page manager, apply a scale to your viewport, how to export your sheet to PDF, and finally print. So at this stage, you should have your project created. If you don't have one for this video, please go to my website, s15studio.com, head over to the file share heading, and in there, you'll be able to download this file to continue on with the video. First thing we'll do is we need to set up our paper space, or our layout. So we come down to the bottom left hand corner, we have layout one. So I'll click on that. So by default, you'll have two tabs, layout one and layout two. Typically it's an A4 sheet of paper that's given to you as default. What I want to do is I want to change this to an A1 size. So I'll come down to the layout tab in the bottom left, right click, go to page setup manager. So we're given a default page setup. What we want to do is create our own. So I'll go to new. And the page setup that we're going to create is an A1 and the orientation is portrait. So I'll call this portrait A1, press OK. That brings us into the page setup and we see the top there, there's our name portrait A1. Next, we'll come down to the printer plotter. We have a, the name of our printer plotter. Hit the drop down arrow in here. If you, if you are connected to a printer, this is where you would then select it. For the purpose of this video, I'm going to create a PDF. And to do that, I come down to DWG to PDF. So for the video, we'll create a PDF. And in the future, if you want to print your sheet, you'll simply select your printer from this drop down list. So I'll go DWG to PDF. As we're creating a PDF, we get an additional option here, PDF options. And in there, we can alter the settings for our PDF. So we can do the quality. So on our vector quality, we have 600 dots per inch. Our raster image quality is 400 dots per inch. If you wanted a higher resolution print, you'd increase the DPI here. Just know that when you increase the DPI, then the file size will be bigger. And if you're going to print it, it'll require more ink to print. So I'll leave those settings as they are and I'll click on cancel. Next, we'll come down to paper size and we're currently set to ISO A4. So there's our A4 sheet. And in here is where I'll change it to the A1. So hit the drop down arrow and in here we have various different sizes for paper. You see we have ISO full bleed, ARC full bleed, ANSI full bleed, iOS, and so on. So the iOS is the metric version, the ANSI is the imperial version, and the ARC is the American architectural. What full bleed means is that it will print from one edge of the paper to the other without borders. The expand will have a border and just the simple ISO will have a smaller border again. So what I want to look for is the ISO A1. And we have two options. We have the landscape or portrait. And I want to create a portrait. So I'll choose the second one, which is the 594 by 841. Below that, we have the plot area. So what do we want to plot? And I have display, extends, layout, and window. So the display plots all objects displayed in the drawing area. The extends plots all objects in the drawing. The layout prints all objects within the printable area of the paper and window plots objects in the area you define below that we have plot offset so it's set to zero zero right now what this is for is if you have an older printer most modern printers this won't happen but when you print on an older printer sometimes the drawing is offset slightly so how we recenter our drawing onto the sheet of paper is by adjusting the offset here on the x y plane over to the right, we have plot scale. And when we're working with AutoCAD, if we're doing our construction drawings, we never want to use fit to paper. We always want to apply a scale of one to one. So whatever we've drawn in our model space will be at a scale of one to one on our sheet. So our scaling will be accurate. Up to the top right is our plot style table. So a plot style table provides a collection of plot styles assigned to a layout or the model space. A plot style tells the printer how to take the object color and converts them into various line weights. So if I hit the drop down arrow, we have a couple of different default types. We have our ACAD, our virtual pens, grayscale, monoscale, and various different screenings. So essentially the ACAD will be a full color print. So all the different colors that we've used in our drawing will be 
printed as they are. Our grayscale, everything will be various gray tones. Monochrome will all be the same black. And screening is essentially like a transparency. So 100% screening, there'll be no transparency. We can pull that down to 25%. So there'll be a larger transparency of our drawing. We can create our own as well. So a small example would be if we're drawing our lines in red, when we wanted them to be printed, we can assign either a different color, a different line weight to that red when it's sent off to print. And what I'll be choosing today is just the simple grayscale. Below that, we have our shaded viewport options. In here is the quality section for that. So we have draft, preview, normal, presentation, and maximum. So if you're just doing test prints, best to just push it back to draft to save yourself on ink. And then when finally going for your presentation, just push it right up to presentation. And then we have plot options below that. So we have a few different options we can turn on and off. We have plot object line weights, transparency, plot styles, paper space last, and we can also hide the paper space objects. And finally, we have the drawing orientation. We've already chosen the portrait paper size, and we can see the image on the right is displaying that. But as the orientation is set to landscape, we can see the A is on its side. So if we flip that to portrait, now the text will be displayed correctly. We can also choose plot upside down. So when it comes out of the printer, it'll just be upside down. And on the far left, we have a preview option so we can preview what we have just done. But right now we have nothing on the screen, so we don't see any information. We're going to press OK and all this will do is set up our page. So press OK and we're back in our page setup manager. We just need to choose the portrait A1 and set current and close. So now we've set up our page. What we need to do now is add a viewport so we can have a view into our model space and the viewport is what we apply our scale to. So we already have one in the drawing. What I want to do is just delete that out and I'll show you how we can create our own. First thing, we'll come up to our layers and we don't have a viewport layer, so we need to create one. We go to layer properties, select zero for our default, new. And I like to put an underscore before the wording just so it's at the top of the list. Enter to create that. I'm gonna give it a color of magenta just so it's nice and clear. And when we create our viewport, we don't want to print it. So I'm going to turn off plot. So this viewport line will not be printed. And then I'll set current. So now we need to make our viewport. So we'll go to the layout tab at the top. We have layout viewport panel here. And we have our different options we can choose. Rectangular, polygonal and object. So rectangular, we'll just make a rectangle. Polygonal, it will open up our polyline we can just create a shape and we can create objects from viewports as well so we'll just choose the rectangle draw on a nice big rectangle and there's our viewport this viewport is a view into our model space and it's now displaying our floor plan so there's no scale set to this viewport yet and we need to apply a scale to it so we'll select the viewport and we have two ways we can do that we can go down to the bottom right hand corner and we can apply a scale or we can go into the middle here with the drop down arrow and we can also apply a scale. And I want to choose the one to 50 as our scale. So we'll leave it at one to 50 and I'll just reduce the viewport back down. Just use control arrow keys to shift it into position. Next, we need a title block to title our sheet. And in the files to share folder, I have supplied that title block file for you. So if you want to open that now. So we'll ignore the references. So now we have our title block open. What we need to do is just select it, control C, bring it into our ground floor plan and paste. Now just move it into position. And this dashed line is our printed area. So anything that's inside the print, inside the dashed line will be printed. Anything outside will not be printed. So just make sure that our title block is completely inside the dashed line. So there we have our title block. And I've created this title block as a dynamic title block. So if I double tap, it'll open up the attribute editor. And we just need to give it a name. So the drawing title is 
ground floor. Drawing type, I'm gonna call this YouTube project. Revision, be revision one. Drawing number 100-100 and the date. So I'll go 010101. Who was it drawn by? Just my initials, press OK. So now we have our title block created. And the last thing we need to do is just send this off to print. So we'll come back down to the layout tab, right click, and we have plot. This opens up the plotter and we can see at the top our page setup name, portrait A1, that's correct. Our printer plotter, DWG to PDF is correct. Our paper size is correct as we've set up our page before. So last thing we'll do is click on preview, make sure everything is correct. And I'm happy with that. So on the far left, we can go straight away and print it. We can pan, zoom, zoom in a window, and we can also just come back to our plotter window. Once we're happy, we'll click, click OK. And then once we're in our folder, we will just double check our file name. So I've got ground floor plan, layout one. I'll just change that to A1, save. In the bottom left hand corner we get the bubble to say that everything's okay and the pdf will automatically open so there's our pdf so now we've generated our sheet sent it off to print created our pdf and we know that our viewport is at the correct scale of 1 to 50. Thanks for watching this short video. Make sure you head over to s15studio.com where I have a beginner to expert level AutoCAD course where I dive into all aspects of AutoCAD and I go into a lot more detail on everything we've just created. Make sure that you like, comment and subscribe and please leave any video recommendations down in the comment section that you'd like me to create in an upcoming video. Thanks again for watching and see you next time.